All right, what's up, everyone? I'm here with Cam Loaf, born of Osiris. How you doing, man? Good, dude. Hey, we have three days left of the tour. Uh, been out for like seven weeks, so wow. I want to go home, but yep. I can't wait to play a show tonight. Can't That's wait for it to be over. Yeah, man. Where is home for you? Chicago suburbs. Nice. Is that where everyone's from, Van? Uh, yeah. Like originally, we're all from the suburbs of Chicago, and um, I'm the only one left in the suburbs now. So. Cool. Uh, yeah, the guys kind of moved all over the place a little bit, so. Very cool, man. And then you mentioned that you were in the studio. What can we be expecting coming up next? Um, we're gonna be dropping our album this summer. Cool. Possibly July. Um, the vocals aren't recorded, but just about everything else is. So. That's what's up. It's, yeah, it's sick. Is there anything we can know about it, like name, artwork, direction, it's good. Secrets? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna try not to reveal too yeah. much. I think I've already posted enough uh, clips, so just leave right. it at that. You cool. Know, I'm trying Fair to hold, hold off and let, leave it with the element of surprise, you know? I dig it, man. Alright, so, what up, bro? <laughs> Alright, so now the SJC related questions, my man. When did you first hear about or see SJC? And then, um, do you remember like making the initial contact and like what that was like? Uh, it was probably like. Warp Tour like 2012. Okay. I'd say. I think um, I was noticing some of the a lot of drummers were playing the SJC and on Warp Tour like yeah. all like all really good drummers. Um, so I was just yeah I'd say around 2012 I found out about SJC. Nice. Like, wow, this is really sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember your first kit. I want, it was like Age White Ripple. Yeah. Right. I I, uh, I ordered the bass drum way too small by accident. <laughs> <laughs> But it was actually, it was, ended up sick. I kind of was it like a 14 liked, by 20 or 14 was, by 22? It was a little bigger than that, but it was like, it was bouncy as fuck though. Actually, I love the feel of it. That's cool. Like, it looked so awkward though, because I kind of had the, uh, <laughs> the tom I the, mount. I had the tom mount. And yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. I like, I like my uh, current kit a lot better. It looks meaner. I got you, I got you. So yeah, you're now playing Tour Series kit, black satin stain, black hardware. Um, when you first got that kit, what did you think? Like, how did it compare it to the other kits? Man, it was sick. They're, I like them both a lot. But yep. it's, it's fucking... I like this one better, for sure. It's... Man, those drums are easy as fuck to tune. That's also, up. like, you put the heads on. I'm used to spending forever trying to get my toms, like, to sound good. It's, it, make it, it makes it really easy. Just put the head on. It's not rocket science. You get them to sound good, like, really easy. Put a moon That's gel up. on there. Yeah, man. So you got the 7x10, the 8x12, the 16x16, 16 the 18x22. Yep. That's what's up. And then you took those to the studio, right? For the Eternal Rain and you're taking, are did. you taking them again? I did, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm using for the Eternal Rain. It sounds crispy. That's what's up, man. And then, um, all right, so let's say you did a custom kit next. If you could do anything, literally like anything, what would this kit feature? Like literally anything, like, like I, think that we can do anything. You know that, but really be, anything. Man, I think it would be tight as fuck to wrap it in like new new rain artwork. Okay. I think that would look so tight because I mean, that album it was our first album and it, it it means it's very special to me and to have you know a drum kit with that. I, I don't know. It's yeah. That'd be the coolest thing ever to do. Dude, we can do that, so <laughs> we'll, we'll talk, man. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. Um, speaking of the new rain, I remember last time we talked, you said that you recorded that album over spring break in high school. Yeah. Can you, Crazy. do you remember, like, what year was that? And can you explain, like, that process? Because there's drum parts on there that I'm, I still listen to it, obviously, to this day, and I'm just like, what, how did he think of that? How did he come up with that, man? Well, yeah, I, um, I recorded the drums, the guitar, and bass on that whole album. That's so, wild. Yep. So just a nerd fucking in my room eating hot pockets, playing guitar and my brother showed me how to use pro tools and for the demos it was some of the songs were just would set up drum mics but I yeah. wouldn't even do it to a click. So that's why all the tempos are so wild. Right. On the new rain because I would just be punching in next and there wouldn't be <laughs> there wouldn't be tempos. No kidding. Uh so when I went to record it with Michael Keen we would feel it out and say, okay, how does this part feel? We'd listen and be like, I think it's about this BPM. So the click map still to this day, when I play to my ears, is most people would hear be like, that's that's crazy. You just you know, stay up to do for a while, but that's unreal, man. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. All right. 
So, now for the, the, the random fun questions, man. When did you first hear Double Kick, if you can remember, you know where you were, what band it was, what artist it was, and what was going through your head? Oh, it's definitely one that really stands out is Kill Switch Engage. I, Dude, uh, same. Oh, that that oh, was I, my first. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't, uh, man, when I, and not just the drums, but when I heard the, uh, like, Adam's squeals, his yep. pitch harmonics, I remember just being so young and feeling like I couldn't fathom it. I was like, how do you do that? It's wow. like, I learned shortly after I hope to do, but like, I'd never heard something like that before. And That's then, amazing. Like, Ezley Dying was like the fastest double bass I had ever yeah. heard. Which now I'm like, uh, dude, you look back Jordan here, Mancino, like, wait, dude, yeah, man. Before I had a double bass pedal, I was to Ezley Dying's 94 Hours. Yeah. It was like, what? what? Oh my god. And, Unreal. Uh, and then bought a double bass pedal and, uh, it was terrible, like, it was really, couldn't get my left foot to move, and um, my friends who were drummers were, like, way faster than mm -hmm. me, and I almost returned it, and just, like, <laughs> I was so pissed, like, it was really hard, and just, man, you can't, you know, all I can say to other drummers, you know, who are just starting or frustrated, like, practice, 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 that's, right. that's all, that's all you can do. Yeah, man, just absolutely. keep playing, just don't put hours in and days in, you know? Dude, that's what's up. Yeah. All right, if you could sit down with any drummer, past or present, and eat Hot Pockets, who would it be, dude, and why? Oh, shit. Man, I'm just gonna say Dan Carl from After the Burial, because I miss him. Yeah, I yeah, know. I dig I'll, it, man. I'll chill with him right now. Respect. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And if you could sit in with any band and play a show with them, past or present, who would it be? Ooh. I would just like sit in, like fill in for them. Yeah. I would probably just, uh, I'd probably fill in for Skrillex. That's what's just, up, dude. You know, I would probably just stand there and just, you know, have some drinks and relax. That's what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, word, dude. Hell yeah. Alright, how do you like the new practice pad? Dude, this is sick. Thank you. Yeah, dude, of course. Got some new swag, too. Yep, yep, yep. Hell yeah. Cool, man. Alright, any last words for the SJC family out there? Uh, well, I just want to thank you guys so much for, you know, hooking it up, and I'm extremely excited to see, uh, you know, what the next kit's going to be, and maybe brainstorm some ideas. Yeah, man. Deal. All right, dude. Well, thank you very much, and um, we're pumped for the show. All right. Hell yeah. Peace. Peace.